you rupert a round of 76 today in very very tough conditions how did you find that uh it was warm but not too warm uh the issue was the very hard bounces very firm bounces if you missed a green i think the penalty was quite extreme as the balls would, would pitch and, 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 and bounce some considerable distance away and even some of the fairways you know which ones tend to uh, uh have a uh, kilt and, a, and, a, and a, um, uh, a bent to them etc so it was uh, the, the course got tighter and tighter and tighter as you were so aware of uh, of uh, these these bounces but otherwise it was it's perfectly fair in some respects you'll be glad to get back onto the hotchkin tomorrow of Definitely. course it's perhaps a little bit more forgiving in well yeah well yes it is i mean one it's based on sand so uh, secondly it's a heatland course all my golf i play on the heatland the links so i feel more comfortable uh, on that type of golf course, and it's all in front of you, uh, and uh, so you can. And it, the bounce is probably a little bit more predictable. You find yourself in a very good position going into the final day. How do you approach that? Do, can you attack it on the Hodgkin, or do you just need to go for you know fairways and greens and see what happens from there? I, I think it depends entirely on the on the uh, the weather conditions. I think the wind is supposed to be quite extreme tomorrow, so 15, 20 miles an hour, um, and so I think people are going to decide to miss fairways, etc. So I think you, you're, I'm only one off the lead, I think it is something like that. So you're going to sort of um, sort of suck it and see how things go for the first few holes. And then after that, uh, start making some decisions on how much risk you want to take. And you have some fellow England internationals up there at the top of the leaderboard. Ian Atto at the top, Paul Wharton's there and thereabouts. It's always exciting playing against Oh, uh, It is, yeah. And Ian's been a fantastic uh, champion of, of England for the last couple of years. And he's in a fantastic uh, position at the moment. And he's done brilliantly to, to defend his title once more. Paul's played brilliantly. Uh, he won the Brazilian senior back in November, so he's had some some uh, winter training in, the, in these conditions. Um, and of course, he did incredibly well in the English uh, uh, amateur last week. So it's great to be up against them. And, and there's a new guy, Andrew Smith, who's a very good golfer. I know him from uh, from uh, for many years now. So don't count him out either.